بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. Uh, in this uh, lecture, we will uh, uh, see the transient response of first order systems. Okay, we will check the step response first. Okay, which is the most uh, common response of first order systems. And then we will talk also about the RAMP response. RAMP uh, step response means what? The input of your first order system is a step function. And RAMP response means what? The uh, input is a uh, RAMP uh, uh, forcing function. Okay. All right. Now this is our example. What do we have here? We have a first order system. Okay. Uh, let me use the pen. This is a first order system, a thermal system. Now we did not talk about thermal systems uh, in chapter seven. It doesn't matter. Why? Because uh, already the model is given. This is the equation of motion. Okay, so given the equation of motion, this is given a first order system. Okay, first order system. Don't worry about everything here. Everything here is what? What is this? This is a constant, okay? This is all this a constant, and I'm going to call it tau because this is, in fact, your time constant. Okay? So the uh, function, what is how to understand this dynamic system? Uh, the uh, dynamic system is the reading temperature from the thermometer. The reading temperature, T, is the reading temperature from the thermometer. The input or the forcing function is the bath temperature, Tb, the bath temperature. So given the equation of motion, also given uh, initial conditions, the initial condition T at zero equal to, um, uh, what do you call it? We call it T naught. Okay. This is given, okay? So given the equation of motion, so we're gonna start from this first order system. How do I know it's, this is a first order system? Look at the differential. This is the first differential, right? So this is first order system. And this is my forcing function, okay? The bath temperature, which is a step function. What does it mean, step function? This is a constant, constant, okay? So this is given. What he's looking for, find, Uh, uh, the transient response means in other words draw draw the transient response so solve for the transient response the solution get the solution and draw the transient response okay there are two methods one method is the long method to do everything from this start and solve and get the solution then draw the solution sketching or draw using MATLAB there is another short solution uh, which is the uh, using the initial value and final value theorem. I will do that uh, uh, in, the, in, uh, in the next video, okay? But now let's go uh, through the uh, detailed solution. So first, derive the equation of motion. We got the equation of motion. This is my equation of motion, right? This is the bath temperature. This is a constant. This is the variable function t, the differential of t. Tau is a constant. Assume this is given, a constant, okay? All right. Now solve. Take the Laplace transform. This is the Laplace transform of a step function. It's going to be the number over S, okay? Then solve for Ts, right? You know what's the... I'm not going to do this because you know how to do this from chapter 2. Solve for Ts, right? Solve for Ts, right? Then partial fraction expansion, right? Then inverse Laplace. These are the steps. I'm just trying to refresh your memory. Okay, the inverse Laplace. Then get your solution. T of T. Okay, this is the last system. So if you check this solution, huh? It's gonna be what kind of solution do you expect to see? It's gonna be uh, exponential. All right, exponential. See, e to the power. This is constant, constant. All right, this is my solution again. Now, for better analysis, in order to start from zero, in order to start from zero, not from the initial uh, condition, I'm going to subtract the initial condition from the solution. All right, so we can start from zero for better and easier analysis. Okay, so I'm going to call this delta t. So delta t, just subtract from here 
تي ذا امبيان تمبرتشر تي نوت ذا امبيان تمبرتشر كود بي لايك 25 ديجريز ها ذا باث تمبرتشر از هاير رايت ذيس از هاي لايك هوت تمبرتشر باث تمبرتشر لايك 100 ديجريز فور اكزامبل اند اي ونت سي ذا ذا ترانزيانت ريسبونس اول رايت سو ناو يوزنج مات لاب اور يوزنج ا سكتش اوكي You can draw this. As you can see, we have uh, exponential, exponential. So it will start from zero at t equal to zero. It will start from zero, right? When t this is one minus one zero, and when t goes to infinity, okay, it will end at what? When this is goes to infinity, this will become zero. Okay. So the initial value. How to draw this initial value? There are two ways: either to use MATLAB or sketching. If you want to sketch. You can use the initial uh, value. This is your initial value. It will be equal to zero. And this is going to be your final value. All right. I will show you uh, in another example. I will show you how to use the initial value theorem and final value theorem. You should know this by now. But I will review with you in the next example, okay? We will pick a similar example, but we will use directly the initial value and final value in order to skip all these uh, steps. So this is my final value. This is my initial value. As you can see, it's going to be a curve like exponential. Okay. All right. And we call this until it will reach the steady state. This is the, you can see two regions here. This is the steady state. When t goes to infinity, it will not change with time. And this is the transient response. You see all this area we call the transient. Why we call it transient response? Transient means what? What does it mean, transient? It means like temporary, it will change in a few seconds, okay? Changing with time in a few seconds, in a short time. So we want, we want to analyze this region, okay? There is a lot of, many analysis here. We will talk about in the next slide. Okay. So what's going on? This is my transient response, okay? This is my transient response. And this is the steady state, okay? This is the transient response. Okay, it's changing with time. So we have to learn and remember what's going on here. Okay, we always start from the initial value. This is the step response, by the way. And you will see that the step response for any first order system, it will be exactly the same. Just different numbers. But the analysis is exactly the same. Okay, for any first order dynamic system. Okay. So you'll start from the, as you can see, it will always start from the initial value, which is about zero, okay? Then at, at tau, when we reach the uh, time response, which is given, right, from the equation of motion, how much you will reach exactly? You will reach about 63% of your final value. This is the final value, by the way, from the final value theorem. Okay, the steady state value, we call it, or final value. So here always you will notice at the time constant, you will notice that you always reach 63% of the final value. Is this a true for any first order system? Yes, it's a true for any first order system. Is this true for any exponential? Yes, for any exponential, you will get the same analysis. All right. So we need to take care about this uh, tau because later I will show you why tau is important. Okay. And you need to take care at 4 tau, because at 4 tau, we call this the settling time. Why we call it the settling time? Because after you reach tau, this is going to be where you reach about 98%, or you will be within 2% of the final value. Okay? So this is like 2%. This is like 2% of the final value. All right? How much exactly here? Four times the time constant. Four times the time constant. We call this very important, the settling time. In seconds, for example, okay? In seconds. It's a time, huh? Okay. So we need to take care about the tau. Tau, we will reach about 63% of the uh, 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 final value. And at four tau, you will reach about 98% of the final value, which is the standard when you design your first order system. This is the standard, huh? 2%, to reach 2% of the final value. Okay? 2 tau, you will reach 86. This is just for your information. 3 tau, 
Okay. Uh, why we care so much about this uh, settling time? Because we want to measure the error. Later, we will measure the error. Okay. What is the error? The error, the definition of error you, will be always the same. It is the input minus the output. Sorry. This is spelled. Input minus output. Okay, this is the error. The input is what? This is the step function. Step, right? Output, usually the step for the uh, first order. Output, this is what's going to be your final value, the steady state value. When this step, when this is equal to the final value, you have zero error. Your job, you will see later as a control engineer, your job is to minimize the error. Okay, your job is to minimize the error. So you need to know what's your input, what's your output. This is how you use the controller. When you use a controller, we will want to minimize the error. Okay, so this is a quick discussion with what, of uh, what we, how to draw the transient response. Okay. All right, we will see one more example on a step uh, response, inshallah. Before we go, before we go, uh, there is another important uh, property that we see. This, oh, sorry. Another important property. The slope, the slope of this uh, 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 plot at t equal to zero, the slope here. What, do you, what did we discover? Uh, the slope uh, will be uh, the final value. This is your final value, right? Over tau. If you measure the slope huh? at t equal to zero. Final value, this is going to be the final value. This one is your final value. Over tau, the time constant. Okay. Uh, this is important. Why? Because experimentally, sometimes in the experiment, huh, when you have a first order system like this thermometer, you have it in the lab, and you don't know what's the equation of motion of the thermometer or the transfer function. You want to control it, so you need to get the model. So what you're going to do, you're going to give it initial uh, temperature, for example, here, you give bath temperature, and then you record the uh, transient response on a piece of paper. Record the transient response on a piece of paper. Okay. And from here, you can measure what's the slope here. You can measure it in the lab from the paper, from the drawing. Okay, and uh, then you can find what is the, uh, the, the final value. Also, you can measure it easily, okay, which is going to be the, um, uh, the final value. Okay, so you will know what's the final value, and you know the slope. Then you have to find tau. If you know tau, خلاص, you know your equation of motion or the transient function or the model. Tau is the most important number that we look for when we design a first order system. Okay. All right, so this is a brief talk about first order, the step response of first order system, which are the most important system. This is for your information. If you have the same system without a step input, only initial condition, okay, you see this is the transient response, will be also exponential, but decaying exponential. Tau here, just keep in your mind that tau here will be the same. The number of time, the, the number of tau is gonna be the same. Because you did not change your system. Tau will be the same. Okay? It will be the same. Tau is a property of the system. It will not, it will not change unless you change your system. Okay. However, the meaning here is different, if you remember, in chapter 6. Tau here means the uh, how much it takes to reach about 37% uh, of the initial value. Because this is initial value problem. Huh? This is initial value problem. Not final value. This is not common, okay? Not common problem. Most of the problems are uh, final value problem. Means you give it a step input for your first order system, a step input, and you measure the transient response, the output. Okay? Also for your information, if you are in the lab and you want to measure tau, okay, what we do, we uh, run uh, several uh, curves similar to this one to get a, 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 a drawing similar to this one. And from each one, we measure the slope, and then we measure tau, okay? And then we get the average, the average tau. Just for information, it's not important, okay? This is for 
those who work in the field. Okay, here we will focus mostly on the uh, theory. All right. Now, next we're going to talk about the same uh, problem. Okay, but we will talk about uh, a less uh, popular uh, problem. What if we change the input, this one, instead of a step, we're going to change it to a ramp. What does it mean, ramp? Ramp means a, uh, uh, a function changing with time, linear, huh? like this one. This was a ramp. T, and this is the bath temperature. Okay, it's a ramp, huh? Okay, so alpha is alpha is a constant, and starting from the ambient temperature. Okay, so same problem. This is the same problem, same initial condition. Okay, just we change the input. Okay, we change the input into a, a ramp. Okay, what will happen? You can do the same analysis. You solve, take Laplace transform, then inverse Laplace, okay? Then I will do one more step, uh, subtract the uh, ambient temperature from the, uh, from the uh, solution for better analysis in order to start from zero. Now, what can you see from the solution? There are two parts, this part and this part. This part is a exponential. This is the exponential part. And this part is linear, okay? What did we notice here? The blue line is your input, the forcing function, the uh, uh, ramp. This is the output, okay? What is the difference between this uh, uh, solution and the previous solution? There will be always what? The error. There will be always error. And we call this steady state error. Steady state error means what? The steady state error when t goes to infinity, okay? So the error, this is the error. This is the input. This is the output. Okay. Okay. So this is my error from applying. When t goes to infinity, uh -huh. the steady state error, when t goes to infinity, okay, the steady state error will be alpha times tau. It's a constant. So what does, it mean? What does that mean? We will always have a uh, error, okay, uh, regardless of what time it takes, okay? We will always have an error between the input and the output, okay? How to reduce the error? We use a controller, okay? This is what we're going to talk about in chapter eight, uh, 10, sure. Okay? So this is a quick uh, review of RAMB uh, response, okay? Uh, most of the problems that you will see in this chapter is of this type, okay? A, uh, a first order system with a kind of a step input. And you need to know how to draw the uh, uh, transient response, showing all the details, tau, settling time, okay? So we're gonna do this in, a, uh, in the next uh, uh, video, inshallah. Thank you.